in this lecture we'll try to go ahead and look into some of the problem questions of chapter 2 of econometric right beta okay look into the first question so this says you need to go ahead and you need to prove that the following equation holds now although here in this question i am asking you to prove that the following equation holds in exam it can be asked that whether the following statement is true or false right which of the following statement is correct incorrect and things like that right just for for our clarity here you know i'm just going with proof so just try to see this thing it says summation xi minus x bar is equal to zero now it is a known fact that sum of deviation from mean must be equal to zero but we need to go ahead and we need to prove this thing so it's a very simple proof but this is this should be capital xi so this is summation capital xi minus x bar now just note this th thing down here that you know summation xi minus x bar can clearly be written as summation xi minus summation x bar and x bar is assumed to be a constant so if your x bar is a constant then when a constant is added n times then it just gives n x bar so this can simply be written as summation xi minus n x bar minus n x bar because x is getting x bar is a constant x bar is mean mean is assumed to be constant and here constant is getting added n times so n x bar so this is going to be submission xi minus n and x bar can again be opened up and written as summation xi by n that is by the definition of mean right and then n and n gets cancelled out and this will be summation xi minus submission xi and this is simply going to be zero on very similar notice if suppose in exam you were told that you know is the following statement true or false and you would have been given summation yi minus y bar is equal to zero yes even this is true because the sum of deviation from mean is assumed to be zero so you could have simply gone ahead and written this as summation yi minus sum of the means of y and again y is a you know the mean of y is assumed to be constant it's a number right so it's like adding that number n times so minus n y bar and this would have given me summation yi minus n and you would have opened y bar as y by n summation y by n and this would have given you summation yi minus summation yi and this would have been zero so sum of deviation from mean is always zero am i clear with this one okay better look into the second part now so this says you need to go ahead and prove the following dhyan se dekhna beta summation xi minus x bar yi minus y bar is equal to so here i have capital this is capital yi and this is capital xi right capital yi and capital xi so try to see this thing how can we go ahead about the proof of this so submission xi minus x bar yi minus y bar again i am telling you these statements can very well be asked as form of true false or as form of some other some other form ha huh? and you need to be aware about every form this agar isko main aapko true false mein de deti and main likh deti that this is equal to this true or false then you will be knowing this only if you know how to solve this thing right so that is why this is important so just try to see this thing this will be submission i will first multiply this with this thing xi yi minus y bar minus x bar submission acha i don't want to confuse you i will do this in two steps submission x bar yi minus so i am just taking if you find this also confusing beta then you can take one step in between of this also and what you can go ahead and you can do is you can just keep the submission intact and then you can just first multiply throughout right so keeping the submission intact you can go ahead and multiply throughout what i mean by that is you can write submission outside only and then you can do the multiplication xi yi minus y bar minus x bar yi minus y bar multiply this with this term 
and then multiply this with this term right and then now what you can go ahead and you can do in this case is that now you can go ahead and open this up so when you will go ahead and open this up when you will open up the submission then you will go ahead and get what i have written below so submission xi yi minus y bar minus submission x bar yi minus y bar now please try to understand one important property so if you have submission c xi where c is a constant and c can come out and you will be left up with submission xi so whenever you have a constant with the summation the constant can come out of summation now here if i look into x bar x bar is a constant so constant can come out of summation so what i can go ahead and do therefore is i can write this as summation xi yi minus y bar minus constant can come out of summation summation yi minus y bar and this will be summation xi yi minus y bar minus x bar and i have proved this to you in the last question that the sum of deviation of y's from its mean must be zero we proved it sum of deviation from means is zero so therefore we know that this part will become zero beta and if this will be zero then i will be left up with summation xi yi minus y bar and that will be the proof similarly can you try to go ahead and can you try proving this one can we try doing this one okay let's try so what i can go ahead and do in this case is i will again start with the full one so summation xi minus x bar yi minus y bar and now what i will do na i will multiply this part with each of this part so i will keep summation out and i will have xi minus x bar into the first term yi and i will put a negative sign minus y bar xi minus x bar this is just using the distributive properties i hope you know the distributive property so if i have a minus b into c minus d i can do a into c minus d minus b into c minus d i can distribute along around this or very well i can distribute around this also so i can go ahead and write c into a minus b minus d into a minus b right both will give me the same answer so i can either distribute around this by multiplying it throughout with this or i can do the vice versa and distribute around this right so now i am distributing around y minus yi minus y bar so this is going to go ahead and give me summation um, xi minus x bar into yi minus summation y bar xi minus x bar again y bar is a constant and constant can come out of summation so we can go ahead and write this as summation xi minus x bar yi and y bar can come out summation xi minus x bar and i know that sum of deviation from mean is supposed to be zero so i will be left up with summation xi minus x bar yi minus y bar into zero so this will be summation xi minus x bar into yi and this will be the answer to this question am i clear with it okay beta okay beta now look into this part so this says again i told you this can come as a true false statement you need to prove this thing that summation xi minus x bar yi minus y bar is equal to this acha ek cheez dhyan rakhna beta yahan pe na this is always going to create confusion for you unless it is not deviation from mean usko capital se likho so write this as capital xi minus x bar capital yi minus y bar summation capital xi yi minus n x bar y bar ha huh? acha let's start so dekho i am i'm going to start with this side so this is going to be summation xi minus x bar yi minus y bar but in the last class i had already gone ahead and i had already proved that this is equal to what did this look like beta we had proved that it looks like this isn't it so i'm going to continue from here only that when i start with this it looks like this so it is going to be submission xi minus x bar into yi 
Now I'm going to just open this up. So this will be submission xi yi minus submission submission x bar yi. And I'm going to take x bar out. So this is going to be submission xi yi because x bar is a constant x bar submission yi. Now look very carefully what I'm doing. I'm doing a very, very small step here. So I'm going to divide this by N and multiply this with N. This is just done because I want to go ahead and prove this part. And if I need to prove this part, I need to divide and multiply with N. Only then I will be able to do this thing, right? So this will be submission XI YI minus, look that here at submission Y by N will become Y bar. This will be the mean of y. So this will be x bar, y bar into n. And that's the proof. Achha, from here, we can do various other things. Supposedly, supposedly, I want to create some other form of it that can also be created. So what I can go ahead and do better, can I not write this as submission xi yi minus x bar submission yi? And can I not write uh, x bar as submission xi by n into submission yi. And can I not write this now as submission xi yi minus submission xi submission yi by n? I can. So this is another proof which, which might have been asked in exam, another formula that, you know, proof that this thing, submission xi minus x bar yi minus y bar whether it can be written like this or not. And yes, very well, it can be written like this also. Right? Okay. So these are the three questions of the first part, which needed to be proved. Am I clear with all of this? Okay, but 